In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Windows 11 on a system that doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirements. And yes, you can download and install updates as well. Let's get it. This video is sponsored by us, so if you like our content and would love to support the channel, please head over to teesprings.com forward slash stars forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below to be a part of the Wemo squad. Thanks. What's going on guys, I'm Ryan from LM Tech HD and on this channel we do a lot of tutorials slash tech reviews and giveaways so if you're new here, please consider subscribing and one of our goals for 2021 is to hit 2k subscribers by the end of the year so if you enjoy our content and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do us a favor by hitting the cute red button down below and the bell icon next to it so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks. Okay guys, so from the time the world got their hands on the leaked slash developers version of Windows 11 up until the 5th of October 2021 when Microsoft officially released Windows 11, there's been somewhat of a mixed feeling about the operating system for the simple fact that some of the so-called old system doesn't meet the requirements of Windows 11. Now, we are not talking about cores, threads, or GPU. For most systems, it's basically about three things. The trusted platform module, TPM 2.0, secure boot or the processor. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows 11 on a PC that doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirements. But before we begin, you're going to need a Windows 11 bootable drive. Now, I've already made a video on that, so you can go watch it by clicking the info button or the second link in the description of this video. All right, guys, at this point, I'll assume you've successfully created the Windows 11 bootable drive. Now, for those of you who aren't sure if your system supports Windows 11 or not, simply go to Google search for media creation tool for windows 11. under the search results click on the microsoft link and it will take you to this page anyways the link to this page will be in the description of this video once you get to this page click on the pc l check link click on download pc l check app once the download is complete go ahead and run the setup accept the terms and license agreement and click install Once the installation is complete, click finish and it should launch the PC L Check app. Click on the check now button and a window like this should pop up. If your PC doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirement, you should see a message like this or something similar. However, if your PC meets the Windows 11 requirement, then you should see something like this. Kind of like that student with all A's. Alright guys, open file explorer and go to this PC. In the Windows 11 drive, create a new document and paste this in it, which you can find in the description of this video. It's basically instructions to modify the registry. Now save it as bypass.reg. When you're done, close this and delete the text document and that's it. Alright, it's time to install Windows 11, but hey, if you're getting value out of this video, then do me a favor by smashing the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you're feeling pumped, then go ahead and share it with your friends as well. Thank you. Now, question of the day, what is the one thing you do not like about Windows 11? Let us know in the comment section below. Alright, now hook up the USB flash drive to the system you want to install Windows 11 and restart it. Keep pressing the delete key until it boots into the BIOS or UEFI. Navigate to the boot menu and under the boot option select the USB flash drive and hit F10 on your keyboard. Click save to save changes. Now the system should restart and boot to the installation window. Anyways, in my case I'm gonna hit the F11 key to go straight to the boot menu which will prompt me to select the device to boot from so I'm gonna select the USB flash drive and hit enter on the keyboard to boot from it. it's time to install Windows 11. Once you get to this window, hit Shift F10 to bring up the command prompt and type regedit.exe and hit enter. This will open the registry editor. Now click on file, import, under this PC, open the Windows 11 drive and select the bypass.reg file we created and click open. Click OK. Now close these windows and click next. Install now. Click I don't have a product key. Now here you can select the flavor of Windows 11 you want to install. In this case, I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro and click next. Accept the license terms and click next. 
select custom install windows only all right here you can select the drive you want to install windows on and also format as well as create partition so let's do that now i'm gonna be installing windows 11 on the d drive which is a one terabyte hard drive so i'm gonna select it and click format now if you have only one drive in your system and you want to split slash create a partition for backup you can do that here by clicking new however in this case you can see that that option is disabled so what we need to do is select the drive and click delete click ok now the new option should be enabled with the drive selected click new it will prompt you to specify the size of the partition you wish to create in this case i think i'm gonna go with 250 gigabytes once that is done click apply and click ok so now we have a 250 gigabyte as well as a 683 gigabyte drive. Now, as you can see, the 683 gigabyte drive is an unallocated space at the moment, but that's okay. Cause I'm going to be showing you guys how to assign a drive letter to it. So we can use it as our backup drive after installing windows 11. Now I'm going to select the 250 gigabyte drive cause that's where we want to install windows 11 and click next. Okay. Now it should start installing. So sit back and let it do its thing. the installation is complete the system will restart as soon as the system restarts remove the usb flash drive so it doesn't put back to the installation window all the files has been copied to the drive we selected so we don't need the usb flash drive from this point on now it should boot to the windows setup screen all right guys it's time to set up windows 11 from here on it's all about personal preference so i'm just gonna select what i want guys you've successfully installed windows 11 now as for updates click on the windows icon and go to settings click on windows updates so as you can see there are updates available so i'm just gonna download them and once the download is complete i'm gonna restart the system so uh enjoy the montage So that's how you install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. All right, guys, if this video was helpful to you, then go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment, share it with your friends, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and all that good stuff at LMTechAG02. And if you would like to support the channel, then head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD, or click on the first link in the description box below. We have more videos coming your way, but for now, we maxed out. Peace.